So are you considering buying a Marriott Resale Week here, where I'm at right now? Surfwatch on Hilton Head Island in South Carolina? Well, I have something that you really need to know about. We'll talk about it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy and before we get started talking about this very important thing you need to know about before you start considering buying a resale week here at Marriott's Surfwatch on Hilton Head Island, I just want to let you know on this channel I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. So if that sounds like what you want to see, be sure to hit subscribe down below. Also hit that notification bell and select all so you don't miss out on a single video. So let's talk about this at Marriott's Surfwatch. They have something known as ultimate occupancy. And what this is essentially is when they started building this resort, technically in South Carolina, at least at the time, probably still true today, you couldn't actually sell anything. So Marriott actually couldn't sell deeds for units or weeks that weren't even apparently built. So from my understanding of how this works is, if they were currently building the Ocean Vista building that's up near the ocean, near the marsh, they uh, essentially couldn't technically sell you a garden view deeded villa that's back here where I am right now. So to get around this limitation where they could not sell you a deeded week in a building that essentially didn't exist, what they did was come up with this system called Ultimate Occupancy. And what they would do then is they were building out the Ocean Dunes building, which is where all of the Ocean Vista views are. And they would technically sell you a deeded unit and a week in that building there, in Ocean Dunes, which is technically an Ocean Vista view, but you wanted to buy a Garden View unit that's back here at the back of the resort. They had this system called Ultimate Occupancy, so they would actually write into the deed and into your documents that you're buying unit X week Y in Ocean Dunes, but your ultimate occupancy is technically Garden View. So this can get very confusing when maybe you're looking at some resale listings and the listing looks like it's a unit number that's in Ocean Dunes building, but it's listed as Garden View. And uh, technically when you buy that, even though your unit is a Ocean Vista view, it's not what you actually get to use when you stay here on your ownership week. So because of this, you need to be careful when you're out shopping for weeks and timeshare units to buy here at Surfwatch. The opposite is also true, of course, for every one that they sold ultimate occupancy from the Ocean Dunes, Ocean Vista View unit in Garden View that technically has an ultimate occupancy of Ocean Vista. So definitely something to watch out for just because the unit that you're looking at buying says it's in the Ocean Dunes building. It's a unit number that's technically there. You really need to make sure that the actual deeded view is really what you're expecting to buy. So they have three views here, Ocean Vista, Ocean Side, Garden View. The only way to really determine and identify what view you truly have if you're buying here is to get and view the estoppel that Marriott Vacation Club provides to whoever your transfer agent is, or maybe even potentially to you. But ultimately, you need to be able to see that to confirm. You can also talk to potentially owner modifications to confirm the ultimate occupancy of the deed that you're buying. So just something to watch out for if you're looking at purchasing a resale week here at Marriott's Surfwatch on Hilton Head Island. Okay, so if you like this video, you found it informative, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna see more videos about Timeshare, check out the What to Watch Next section in the description box below. And for another video about Marriott Surfwatch, check out this one right up here. YouTube, they think you're gonna enjoy that one down there. Be sure to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture right here, hit that notification bell. And until next time, let's make your next destination a Timeshare.